in this video we will discuss about test plan in j meter when you start j meter you will see the window of test plan normally in software testing the test plan is considered as the document in which we decide how the testing will be performed all the requirement information is detailed in test plan based on which all testing activities are performed for example the scope and objective of project the resources needed environments on which tests will be executed timelines etc now let's talk about test plan in j meter when you start any project you will create a project folder where you will store all your files and data so similarly in j meter the test plan is kind of a project which contains test script and the complete workflow of application it is considered as a project directory along with test script you will have other modules as support libraries to create test cases and all the configuration settings in test plan it contains the sequence of steps to run any test a test plan have different elements when you click on test plan click add button you will see different types of elements like threads config element listener timer pre processors post processors assertions etc by using all these elements in a test plan the test script is developed all these elements have unique functionality these elements play an important role in j meter because without using these elements we cannot create test scripts in file we have new option so we can create new test plan by clicking on this new option in menu you can save this test plan by clicking save test plan as and this file will be saved with the extension .gmx so here you can choose any folder where you want to store your file for example if i choose this jmeter folder and under scripts i want to save this file here and you can give any name and click save button so from here in jmeter folder in scripts you will see that your file is saved with .gmx extension all gmx files will be saved with this extension a gmx file is a jmeter project in xml format the whole project is saved in this single jmx file and it is easy to share with anyone you don't need any setup to open this file if you have jmeter downloaded in your laptop you can open it in any operating system if you want to open any existing jmeter file you can go to file and click open you can open any existing jmx file so you can choose the folder from where you want to open your file so as you see here i have already created these jmx files so let's choose this test scenario dot js jmx file to understand the test plan so we have one thread group here so i will explain all the elements in next video so thread group is also one of the elements of test plan so under this thread group we have one test scenario so this test script contains test case steps to verify the user authenticate login and logout functionality of website the first step would be to launch website then authenticate user means perform login then click logout button and verify that it is successfully log out and navigate to login page 
so in these steps we have defined some configurations like what is the http request and url as you see in launch website we have get request similarly in authenticate user we have post request because we are submitting login details and we have mentioned your username and password through this green button you can execute this script and using this gray button this is the stop button so you can stop the execution and this is the clear button you can clear all the test results so let's execute this script so here are the results so you will see all the steps are executed sequentially and if you clear all the results are clear so you can execute again so this is an overview of test plan in next video i will explain all the test plan elements we see here in detail like what is the thread group and config element listener pre processor post processor assertions etc and how we can use them in our script we will also create the test script step by step thank you so much